So just a uh, casual 11 hour drive. From Arrowtown, all about the west coast here of the South Island of New Zealand and we're at a place called Mokanui and we're here to do, myself, Andrew and three of his friends from Wellington are coming down and we are here to do the Old Ghost Road which is a three day, two night backcountry mountain bike trip. There's the horse ready to go. Right here we are at the Lyle Creek Inn. We have got Andrew, who you may know him from other videos such as. Never mind. <laughs> Simon. Simon. Robbie. And Andrew Jr. What should we call you, Andrew? Murray Jr. Murray Andy. Jr. Murray Jr. Ready to rip. So day one, as you'll see, we've come in through the Lyle Creek end and tonight we've just got a maybe a three to four hour ride uphill to Lyle Hut, which is our first destination, and then second night on to Specimen Point and then third day out. So, so far so good. The hut looks a bit rough for tonight. Selections of cheeses and some salami. So day one, we are at Lyle Hut. Andrew's just eaten five kilograms of food. Yep. Still going actually. And this is us for tonight. And then tomorrow is our big day, where we're basically going from Lyle Hut all the way through to Specimen Point. Sleep, mate? Uh, no, it was not good. You did not eat half a lot, half a cake of uh, lolly cake <laughs> before you go to sleep. That's why a massive sugar rush. The little learnings from a one, just one day, eh? Yeah. How's the packing going, Robbie? Yeah, good, mate. Got almost there. Yeah. Applying the lessons learned from yesterday. Yep. Anything learned? Uh, how to stop that back one rubbing on the uh, on the tire. Yep. And just learning from the rest of your, you guys foul it, really. Okay. <laughs> Our classic learning mistakes. There's my horse. Sleeping bag and down jacket on the back. Snacks, camera, lunch. Everything else on the back. So, si, how's it going? Good morning, very good, thank you. Good. All going well? Yes, yes. yes, working very well. Day two, looking a little bit tired. Quite a big day today from Lyle Hut here, and we're pushing right through to Specimen Point. Uh, yeah, looking a bit tired, but feeling okay. <laughs>
Bit sore. We are at the 22 kilometer mark and still going uphill. So I think the high point is at the Ghost Ridge Hut, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong with the graphic. That's right, edit in the graphic if I was wrong. <laughs> well, I just can't use it. So yeah, all going well. Andrew's having problems with his seat, his dropper seat post. Um, don't know, it's having trouble supporting his 140 kilograms, I think. track basically sidling around around here and around that point there ghost ridge hut must be pretty close i would have thought would it So I think we're, we're at a place called Heaven's Door on the track and I think we've kind of ground out most of the uphill now. We're about two hours, two hours to here. Yeah. About two hours to here and then it's along. We're still not at Ghost Ridge Hut yet. So yeah, awesome. Ghost Lake Hut. The first of four huts we have to pass. Third time we're having to lease is S6. Don't you have 250? Two generations behind on the phone, like battery. So after we leave Ghost Lake Hut, that's our track down there, down that ridge, and along and off there towards the Stern Valley. Great cup of tea, we are off now. Technical section coming up and off to Stern Valley for lunch. section here yeah. I'm just talking to the camera just, just explaining why we're walking our skills aren't high enough for this quite hard going quite rocky quite slippery so yeah conserve energy I wasn't expecting that no no I couldn't get out of the shoot out of the pedal yeah just keeled over do you want to talk us through that, recreate that on the camera, like build right. up for it perhaps? Where's the... Did anyone have... So up here, like yeah. so that's where I got to, Yeah. put on the brakes, tried to pull my foot out, didn't. Yeah. Then bang, Somehow. over the bank. Well, yes, yeah, slid foot, foot. You did, you did a nice sort of roll on your back over there. Yeah.
lunch at the Stern Valley Hut, which is right there. And now we've got a bit more uphill and then two more huts before Specimen Hut, which is our destination. So uh, fantastic mix of trail through there, like some quite technical walking bits to flowing single track. So yeah, amazing job. So nine hours and we are here at Specimen right, Point sort of Hut. Yeah, pretty long day, I have to say I'm feeling pretty jaded. Uh, there's a few issues, a few bike issues, but yeah, amazing ride, amazing variation of terrain. So it's a cup of tea and something to eat. Oh, it's big, bro. It's very, very big. Not much left in the tank. Great day, awesome. Yeah. What's we done for you tonight? Uh, it's going to be a delightful Thai chicken curry. Thai chicken curry, nice. Yep. What'd you, ha you have last night? It was a shambles. It was ca I can't Kibara. remember. Kibara. Kibara. Not so good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is going to be beautiful. Chicken shambalara. Chicken shambalara. Uh, tonight I've got the beef teriyaki. It was alright actually. But Rob, what do you got? Got a venison rice noodle stir fry tonight. Yeah, nice. Can't wait. Yeah. So, I've gone for good old bag bowl. Nice. The carbo. Yeah. Andrew's just going to have a glass of water. Uh, Thai green chicken curry. Nice. Nice. Everyone looking a bit tired. You look tired, mate. You look tired. Have some dinner. Simon. So day three, pretty good night's sleep, should be after yesterday, and a final stretch out to Seddonville actually, so it's about a 17 kilometer, hopefully fairly straightforward ride. Now there's one thing I, I probably, for people that are not aware of this area or this ride that I should probably make a note of, is that the weather. Amazing, and it, people that know the west coast of South Island, it has, it's a, a very high rainfall weather, so we've had an amazing run of good weather. So very fortunate, uh, probably be a slightly different trip under perhaps, dare I say it, more normal weather conditions. So yeah, it's been awesome. How are you feeling about the final push out, Andy? Pretty happy. Pretty happy? Pretty good, it's a nice day. Good night's sleep? Mixed. Mixed. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey. yeah as, you, as you do in any hut. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for the love you made me. I know the time is for the sea. Thank you, Lord, for the love you made me. I know the time is for the sea. Thank you, Lord, for the love you made me. I know the time is for the sea. Thank you, Lord, for the love you made me. I know the time is for
Awesome last section of sort of rolling downhill and now we are out taking photos and there's also a cafe just up and behind here for coffee or beer or something good apricot slice a bit of whipped cream and just almost done his and some coffee Oh, no, true. Uh, look, just the diversity of the scenery, I think. You see a lot. It's changing very quickly and we went through all sorts of different landscapes. So, fantastic from that point of view. The thing I'd recommend to take, a torch. Didn't take one, big mistake. Yeah. Highlight of the trip, Robbie. The spectacular scenery. So, you know, quite different to most other places I've been. Absolutely fabulous. Um, and a wide variety of it. And the second question. One piece of gear or, or advice for someone to take, one piece that they should take? Um, a sponsored roadie gillet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Highlight of the trip? Uh, definitely the people, the laughter and the banter. And one, one piece of kit or one, one accessory that you'd highly recommend for anybody uh, else? Suspension on your bike that works. Re <laughs> <laughs> Front and rear suspension. Front and rear suspension, yeah. It actually works, yeah. That'd Perfect. Awesome. Highlight of the trip, the whole of day two. Great crew. Nice one. And one piece of gear or? One piece of gear would have to be the giant trance. The what? The, the giant trance. The bike. <laughs> Made all the, the whole bike is the your one piece. The whole bike is my one piece. <laughs> nice Brilliant. one, Nick. Thank you. So highlight for me was all the amazing single track. Uh, yeah, and just being able to do it on a bike and stay in the huts overnight was awesome. My one recommended piece of equipment or gear, I would say, is the Nestle's condensed milk tube. Yeah. 